<laughs> you had to be there, Tyler. <laughs> Everyone was so surprised you got it. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Who even knows a pick a fight like that? <laughs> well, I guess it's that one. Yeah. Hey, Tyler. Hmm. Isn't that your boyfriend walking towards us? Oh, it is him. Uh, hey, beautiful. Uh, whoa, babe. Uh, are you drunk? Uh, how much have you drank so far? Tyler, I don't think he should stay here. He needs to get home. He's surrounded by hundreds of also drunk teenagers. Okay, I'm exaggerating, but if he wanders around like that, someone is going to take advantage of him. I mean, look, he can barely walk as it is. <sighs> You're right. As much as I don't like to admit it, the people at our school are more than likely to take advantage of people drunk. Especially at parties. And I can't put my little boy at risk like that. Well, did you come here with your car or did someone take you? Uh, we came with Garrett and his boyfriend tonight. No, oh. Luca didn't come along. He traveled back to see his grandparents for the holidays. So, no Mr. Popular Boy here, unfortunately. He's not really a party person, anyways. Nah, uh, well, you should call Garrett then and ask him to take him home. <laughs> right. Let me just... Answer. Oh shit. Do you know where he is? I don't. We split it up once we got here, and I haven't seen him at all ever since. <sighs> and I don't even think I can find him with this many people here, while looking out for my boyfriend as well. Well, if it's that urgent, then I can take him home. Really? Would you? Yeah, it's no problem, dude. I want to make sure he's safe and sound, too. Are you coming along? Hmm. Yeah. His parents are out for the night, so I need to be there to help him sober up and to take care of him. Thank you so much for helping us, Ethan. Ew. <laughs> Stop with the sappiness. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you go on ahead and take him out of my car. I'll explain the situation to everyone else on why we need to leave. Well, why you two need to leave. <laughs> Got it. <clears throat> All right, baby. Let's get you up and moving. All right, guys. Sorry to hear this, but Tyler and his boyfriend needs to go. Easy, does it? Come on. his mind <laughs> yeah I figured he looked completely hammered when he walked up to us at least he's safe now right <sighs> yep that's a relief and again thank you for taking us back to his house I really owe you one Ethan <laughs> no worries I'll definitely remember that for next time <sighs> well I need to head back inside I think Adam's causing a commotion in there and it's gathering Ooh, saving your boyfriend again. <laughs> Shut up, okay? He's not my boyfriend. Well, he would be if you would just grow a pair and ask him out. That... Mm, I'm not replying to that. <sighs> now I need to head back inside. Make sure he gets plenty of water and rest, okay? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Hope you enjoy the party. Thanks, Tyler. Signing off. All right, baby, let's get you all tucked in. <laughs> We're not at the party, baby boy. We're at your house. Somebody decided to have a little bit too much fun, and now I had to take you home. Well, Ethan took you home, but <laughs> still. 
we're not going back. You can't even talk coherently. So, be a good boy and stay still while I tuck you in. I forgot how much of a brat you are when you're drunk. Fine. Since you don't want to stay still, then how about you just stay here while I grab something for you, okay? <laughs> Good boy. some warm water and some ibuprofen. The warm water should help your body flush out the alcohol and the ibuprofen should help with your headache the following morning. So open up. Come on, baby boy. Just take this for me, please. There we go. Slowly now, slowly now. There, good boy. Now, let me just put this down. Now, I need you to get some rest, my little prince. So, why don't you go ahead and lay down for me? Even when you're drunk, you're still so energetic. Fine. What's it gonna take for you to finally lay down? Oh, you want me to lay down with you? Of course, my little prince. Come here. <laughs> here, scoot over a bit. Now I'll just the blankets over us. <laughs> You're so tiny, little one. Your head just fits right below my neck. <laughs> now, babe, why don't you tell me where you were at the party? <laughs> why? because you were drunk out of your mind. I need to know now. <laughs> oh no you don't, you little brat. <laughs> You're staying right here with me. <laughs> you thought you could just escape me so easily? I don't think so, sweetheart. Now, be a good boy and tell me where you were at the party. You were wandering around and somebody decided to give you a drink and you just took it? <sighs> Babe, I know this is your first party, but you can't just go around taking any drink now. <sighs> Yet again, I was the one that brought you to the party, so I guess it's also my responsibility for looking out for you. <sighs> I'm sorry. I should have taken better care of you. <sighs> How are you feeling now? <laughs> Fuzzy? You should have seen yourself when you were walking up to me. You looked like some kind of <laughs> dazed zombie or something like that. 
<laughs> oh, shut it. It was cute to me, okay? How was your first experience at your first party? <laughs> What's fun? No, no, baby. Tell me all about it. What was fun about it? <laughs> you got to meet lots of new people. <laughs> you got to dance. And you got to have fun. glad but next time i have to make sure to specially keep an eye out for you in case you were to take another drink from someone <sighs> no no you don't have to apologize baby boy you just need to be careful at these types of parties high schoolers are <laughs> unpredictable and I have no doubt that somebody wouldn't try to take advantage of you if they saw you. Just the thought of somebody putting their hands on you makes me so mad. And I don't want that. Why? Well, because you're my loving Beautiful, shy, <laughs> hoodie stealing, <laughs> boyfriend. You don't have to say a word, baby boy. Mm -hmm. Just close your eyes, man. Mm. Try to get some rest for me, please. <laughs>